Hi there. So in today's video, we'll summarize what we have learned in the entire chapter on trigonometric ratios. So first we study what are perpendicular and bases with respect to some angle. So say this is an angle, then this will be the perpendicular and this side will, will be the base. And the same triangle, if I talk about this angle, say phi, the this side will become perpendicular and then this side will become base. So they will interchange. And then we defined these trigonometric ratios. So sin theta is P by H cos theta is B by H base upon hypotenuse. Tan theta is perpendicular upon base. And then you have three more. Cosec theta is hypotenuse upon perpendicular. Sec theta being hypotenuse upon base and cot theta being base upon perpendicular. And then we found out, then we learned what are the relationships between these ratios. These are the relationships between uh, trigonometric ratios. So, cosec theta is 1 upon sin theta. Sec theta is 1 upon cos theta. So, reciprocal, we can also say that sec theta is reciprocal of cos, cos theta. Cot theta being 1 upon tan theta. Another interesting relationship which we studied was sin theta upon cos theta gives us tan theta. So, I am not going to prove this all. Uh, if you want to see what how these came, how this trigonometric ratios came, you can see the links on the in the description given below. Then what did we explore? What cofunctions are? These are cofunctions. Like uh, we can express like sine 90 degree minus theta as cos theta. Okay, and we proved this in our earlier video. And similarly, we can say cos 90 minus theta gives us sine theta. So sine theta and cos theta are cofunctions of each other. And similarly, we can prove this at cosec theta. Cosec 90 minus theta gives us sec theta and sec 90 minus theta is cosec theta. The third cofunction, cofunctions are tan 90 minus theta. Okay, this gives us cot theta and cot 90 minus theta gives us tan theta. And then we write uh, top values of trigonometric ratios at some specific angles. So these were the specific angles which I was talking about. 45 degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 0 degree and 90 degrees. So how did we solve for 45 degree? We constructed a 45, 45, 90 triangle and then, then realized okay that these two side lengths are equal. Calculated this using the Pythagoras theorem and we found out the sine 45 will be 1 by root 2. And the reason I didn't mention any other value because now you know how to derive almost every, every value of trigonometric ratios using are values of sine theta only. We did an entire video talking about that. Again, the video link is in the description given below. And then we solved for uh, 30 degree and 60 degrees. So the clever step was to draw an equilateral triangle and then drop the perpendicular bisector. So we got this length as total length as x. So we got this as x by 2. And using the Pythagoras theorem, we figured out that this length will be root 3x by 2. And of course, then you can take the sine th sin 30 degrees. So sine 30 degrees will be this length x by 2 divided by x. So it will be 1 by 2. And similarly for sine 60 degree, we got the ratio as root 3 by 2. And then we moved on. We took two, two pages, shifted them and solved the value for 0 degree. So how did we do this? Uh, we you know, constructed a triangle and then we reduced this length. So this perpendicular was reduced. So as it moved down, sine theta approached 0. And when finally it became a line, the perpendicular became 0. So, this, so sine theta became 0. And then we moved on to 90 degree, 90 degree triangle. And what did we saw? That if, we, if I move this line towards 90 degree, this angle increases. So clearly this angle is bigger than this one, which itself is bigger than this one. So this theta, uh, this theta approached 90 degree and then when it finally coincided the perpendicular be uh, became equal to the hypotenuse and we got sine 90 degree as 1 and then we did an entire video talking about what will be the value of tan 90 degrees using interesting graphs graphs of y equal to 1 by x. So I hope you learned trigonometry in a very easy and understandable manner. Thanks for watching and I hope this chapter helped you a lot.